Hey guys, it's Chloe, and today I am here with a brand new video. I never wear my glasses in videos. What is this? Normally, I don't wear my glasses in videos because the light reflects off of them and you can't see my eyes, but this new lighting is bomb, so... I guess I can wear my glasses in this video. So today I am here with my most anticipated winter releases of 2017. As you guys know, normally at the end of the year slash beginning of the year, I'll just do a overall anticipated releases for the entire year. But this year I've decided to split it up by season. I see Jesse the Reader do this, so I thought I would give it a try. So let's go ahead and get started with my most anticipated winter releases. My first anticipated release is Carve the Mark by Veronica Roth, and this comes out on January 17th. This is the latest from Veronica Roth since she finished off the Divergent trilogy, and I'm not even gonna lie, I have no idea what this is about because I've decided to go into it blind, not knowing anything. I do know that it's kind of like a Star Wars meets fantasy, sci-fi type of deal, but other than that, I've decided I don't want to know. Now there actually has been some controversy around this book and I don't completely understand it. I do know that there is a group of colored people, I believe, that are displayed in this novel as savages and it's being seen as racist. The way I see it, I am actually going to, I'm still going to read the book and I'm going to judge it at that time because right now I just don't think there is enough information out there for the ones who have not read it yet to uh, completely understand it. If you got the chance to read an arc, then yes, you probably have a better understanding of it. But to us mere mortals like myself, who have not read it yet, I'm going to wait until I have read it and have full information before I can properly give my opinion on this. This is also supposed to be the first in a duology, so to recap, I'm just gonna go in blind with it. But I am excited, even though the Divergent trilogy started off strong and kind of ended on a lower note for me, I'm still excited to see what Veronica Roth is bringing to us. I also actually have a chapter sampler of this from BookCon, but I have not actually looked at it or read it, and I'm probably just not going to again so I can go in blind with it. My next anticipated release is Wires and Nerve Volume 1 by Marissa Meyer, and this comes out on January 31st. This is the first graphic novel that Marissa Meyer has ever written, and it's set in the Lunar Chronicles world, and you guys know how much I love Lunar Chronicles, so this is definitely something that's up my alley. From what we've been told, there's going to be two installments, one coming out this year and one in 2018, and they are brand new stories that I believe are centered around Eco, and we're also going to be seeing some past Lunar Chronicles characters. I'm not exactly sure where in the timeline these are set, but I am so excited to read them because Lunar Chronicles is one of my favorite series ever. And Marissa Meyer also just released Heartless, and I freaking loved that book too. So I'm really excited to see this new story in a new format than we are used to with Marissa Meyer. I'm also very intrigued because we saw first pictures of this book on Marissa Meyer's Facebook page, and this is a thick graphic novel, and Goodreads also says that it's around 200 pages. I think it's going to be a jam-packed graphic novel filled with a lot of adventure and excitement. My next most anticipated release is By Your Side by Casey West, and this comes out also on January 31st. This book is about a girl who accidentally gets locked in a library for an entire weekend, and she discovers that she is not the only one locked in there, but she's also locked in there with a boy. I actually received an arc of this from my friend Elizabeth from the Owlry, who got it from Y'all Fest, and it does not have the final cover on it yet, but guys, this cover is gorgeous. I've previously read P.S. I Like You by Casey West and The Fill-In Boyfriend, and I loved both of those novels so much, so I'm really excited to see what she has next in store for us. And my last most anticipated release of winter 2017 
is King's Cage by Victoria Aveyard, and this comes out on February 7th. This is the third installment in Victoria Aveyard's Red Queen series. I have only read the first book, but I really enjoyed the first book, so I am looking forward to picking up the second and third and future books in this series. I'm still no less excited for the third book in this series. I know that this series has gotten a lot of mixed feelings and reviews, especially when the first book came out, but I happen to love it, so I'm really excited to see where the story goes. So guys, that is all I have for my most anticipated releases of winter 2017. Down below in the comments, let me know what your most anticipated releases are and what you're excited for, and let me know what you think about this new format that I am starting of doing it by season than rather the entire year. As always, if you'd like a behind the scenes look at my life, you can check out my second channel, Chloe Essence. You name it, I probably do it on that channel. And if you like what you see here, please go ahead and click subscribe. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday, so click subscribe so you can be updated for when I post those. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!